I was scrolling through YouTube at 1 am as everyone does watching Trump meme videos when this random thought hit me. Could AI actually predict who is going to win the 2024 election? Now I'm not talking about those fancy political analysis with their complicated graphs and expert opinions. No, we're gonna do something way more fun. We're letting AI take a wild guess at the future. Thinking what if experiment that anyone can try at home, like those viral TikTok trends, but for predicting who's gonna get the nuclear codes. We have a confirmed no Just kidding, kind of. Using nothing but AI and public available data, we're going to do something pretty wild, predicting who might win in 2024. So somebody, excuse me, somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. And the best part, I will show you exactly how to do this yourself. Whether you or know how to code or you think Python is just a snake. But before we jump in, a quick wording. Some of this result, they're not what anyone expected, to be honest. Seriously, wait until you see what the data showed about it. Well, you will see yourself. And hey, if you think this is sound so complicated, just stick around. I promise you. You will be surprised how simple this actually is. I'm breaking everything down step by step. No fancy degree required. Even my mom could do this. I mean, I see this. I like I, it's so incredible. Ding, 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 ding. Boom. Okay. Shin, boom. Star Wars. Let's see if AI can actually predict who's moving into the White House next. If you went right now to ChatGPT or any AI that you like to use and ask it which one is going to win the election of 2024, it will give you an answer basically saying it can't do that. It's not a wizard or it can't see the future. So in order to fix this issue, we will have to give it some data. And this data will be basically opinion about of people about which one they're going to vote for. In order to get this data, we will have to stick to public available data. And Twitter used to be this place for getting this free kind of organic data, fetching tweet and analyzing it and using it to predict whatever what you want with it. But right now, we can't do this anymore. The free plan only give you the ability to post and upload images and tweets. And if you want to fetch and get tweets and all this kind of fancy stuff, you have to pay $100 per month, which make it not publicly available data. The other place that we can do this for zero dollar is actually Reddit. And here comes the issue. And this actually is a problem because each one of these platform, Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, have different opinion in majority. It means like the data, where we gonna get it from will affect results. So we are going to use Reddit public available data to fetch thousands of comments about what people think about the election and Trump and Camilla Harris and let it be processed by code generated by AI to give us results which one was gonna win. So right now we know where where we're going to get our data from. All you have to do right now is go to any AI that is really decent, for example like uh, ChatGPT or Claudia and I love Claudia so I'll go in to stick with cloud AI. And I will ask it if I want to predict the result of the 2024 election using public data like Reddit, how should I approach this? This is basically the first step that we need to get up and running our code. And AI will walk us through every single step that we need to take to reach the result that we want. He started with collection of the data. He need to fetch data from Reddit in order to get comments. And he's not just given us where to get the data from and how to get it. He's also given us warning that if we stick to just read it, we will have some sort of biases. It means that the prediction that will give us have a big chance of being wrong. He end the answer by saying that social media analysis alone is not reliable for election predictation and not a single data source can actually predict the election outcome. The second step that I ask AI is basically can we do this using coding and I didn't specify any single language or anything. The question is extremely simple and basic, but the answer is extremely good because he already bought a plan in motion and wrote a code for 
basically analyzing and collecting data and doing everything for us without writing a single line of code. This is the code that Claudia actually gave me in the first try. And then it actually required me to install all these libraries. And then it guided me how to get the Reddit API AI credential, which will be the next step in order to get the comments from the basically post of Reddit. I need to go and create some sort of API project inside Reddit and get all this information and put it inside the code so it can collect the data automatically. And in order to do that, we need to go to the old Reddit apps link. And here we can create a new app by clicking this button. I already have a, the older project for testing this idea. I will click it over here and give it a name. You can give it anything that you want as a name and you can put description, redirect URL. You need to put redirect URL actually. And it can be anything. Mine, I bought the local host 8000 and it will work with you, no problem. And of course, check the recapture of Google to make sure that it's working. And select the script instead of web app. We are the only one who's going to use this API. After creating the app, we will have few data that we need to copy and save in save place. This is called the client ID. We're gonna need this. And this is the secret client ID. We also gonna need this. And finally, we will need something called user agent. It will be the name of the project over here and version one and the name of the user. I'm gonna show you this actually in the code. So you don't worry about it. I went back to AI and actually asked it. All right, now I want to improve this code to make it capable of predicting the winner, either Trump or Camilla. And displaying the result in charts, including an explanation of the numbers and additionally, please save the comments data into a CSV file in case I wanted to use it later. So it write the code for me. I didn't write any single line of code of this. I copy it button over here and I actually went back to something called Google Collab. Google Collab is a free tool that provided by Google that we can use and test Python code inside it. The first thing that I did is install everything that Claudia told me which is this line over here. There is a lot of stuff to uninstall, but I understand some of the stuff like Bandas and Nambi, Seaborn, Skatlearn, and Midplotlib. And I pasted the entire code without modifying a single thing inside it. I don't even understand every single line because I didn't went through it. All I did is put my entire credential of the app inside here. This is the client ID that I told you about underneath the project and this is the secret client key and this is how you write the user agent the name of the app and then version one and the name of the user id that you are using inside reddit this is my current user that i'm using and after that i hit run took it about 30 minutes of running and i got worried to be honest I thought it's not gonna be able to work and for the first run it resulted and actually error i went back to claudia and asked it how much longer this will take to execute it have been running for about 13 minutes which is correct it run about half an hour i didn't see anything being basically done i didn't know about this but there is some sort of red limit on the reddit abi for collecting posts and comments and it's kind of slow this is why it's took a lot of time to do it. So it reduced the amount of post from 1000 to 50, which is kind of very low. Then optimized the code once more and it gave it to me. So I went back and I actually started to get some results. For the first run, it didn't take that much of time to give me these results. It predicted the result of Trump winning chance 65% and Harris 34%. And it analyzed only 100 posts and 1,896 comments. And these posts and comments are coming from different subreddits. These subreddits are politicals, which is kind of the major one to collect data from. It have about almost 9 million members, which is a lot of data that you can collect from. And the second one was called political discussion. And it's slightly small. It's like 2 million and have only one key user online. And the third one was actually is much, much smaller and representing 
one side, the Republican. I think this is one of that supporting Trump. And the fourth and the last one is actually Democrats, which is supporting Kamala Harris. And you can modify and put any subreddit that you want to collect data from, from over there. In my second run, I analyzed 200 posts and almost 4,000 comments have been analyzed inside this code and collected. And the result is actually kind of got weird because the Trump chance of winning got even higher and Kamala Harris chance of winning got even lower. So I bumped the number of posts that I analyzed to 400 and the comment 73,000 comment and the numbers are Harris going down, Trump is going up. Right now it's 71 chance of winning for Trump and for Kamala Harris is 29. It seems like that every time that I collect more data, the number change towards Trump winning, not Kamala Harris. And I thought it will change if I bump the number even more. You know, more data that's collected, the variation of votes will be different. Also, every time that I run this kind of code, it will give me a different data, one for comments, one for post, and the feature, and the predictation analysis chart, which is over here. As you can see here, Trump is the left one and the Harris on the right one. And if you're running this code, and if you want to use it, of course, don't forget to download this data because this number is actually insane. Do not come. I'm going to come. Oh. There is another way that we can predict and even ask the AI more questions about this data. All you have to do is go to ChatGPT. If you have the pro version or the free version, it will work. But the free version is actually very limited. You can upload the data over there, the one that have 73,000 comment and start asking it any question that you want. So I ask it what side think he will win and both sides came out equally thinking they are going to win. The Trump side is over here, 44, and also Kamala Harris side is 44. One of the questions that got me by surprise, which side have more positive comments? Basically, which sides have uh, more positive energy in its comments. Camilla Harris is basically winning in terms of the sides finally. So that Trump side is not that positive as the Camilla Harris. Was this based on the ratio, not the number of the comments? I also ask what is the main emotion inside the comments? The dominant part is joy and the second one is anger which is kind of confusing because I don't think that you can be happy and angry at the same time. The third one with sadness and the fourth one with almost equal to sadness is fear. But this is the, like the total number of the comments, not separating each side. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Ask it to separate the sides and calculate the emotion for each one based on comments. And it seems that the Trump is more angry, a little bit, like 1% more angry in terms of emotion, but anticipation, they're losing, Kamala Harris' side is winning, the disgust is equally disgusted from each other, fear, it seems that Kamala Harris' side is more fearful from something, and also they have more joy inside it, in sadness they're equal, surprise, that Kamala Harris is slightly half the age, and in trust, their both are equal. And before someone get angry or call the FBI on me, this is not me saying that Trump will win, but it seems that data analysis from Reddit, especially the comments, saying that Trump will basically destroy Kamala Harris. But here is the fun part. If you went to Twitter and start collecting more data about this election, I am pretty sure that the result will be completely different. As the Claudia AI said at the beginning, the AI can predict the election correctly, even if it feed it more data, because something will might change. It's not real time data. The comments might be have biases inside them, or you know, some certain user for some certain sites think and believe in stuff that might might be not realistic. 
Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed with this fun experiment that I did with AI and Blaine with data. And if you found this video respecting your time and providing you with valuable information, please hit the like and subscription button and leave silly comment for the algorithm down below. It will help my channel a ton. And I'm going to leave the data and the code that I have got from AI down below in the links. So go ahead and grab it if you want to use it. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.